Hi y'all, um, I'm Dawn Wages, and this is going to be a little interactive, so I'd like some group participation. So when I say hello, can you say hello back? Hello. Hi. Hi guys, thanks. Um, so this is my first talk, and I'm a lot less nervous than I thought I was gonna be. Um, it's a friendly crowd, so I'm excited. Um, so this is about learning wagtail, and I did a species classification of the beginner learner, and then in the context of learning wagtail. And really, like my goal of um, at the end of this, I'd like to everyone to be reflective on what type of learner you are, what ways you can you've met and seen other types of learners, and then ways you can contribute to the wagtail community to engage more people like me who want to jump in and and learn some new things, right? So, um, a little bit about myself. I am, my, my background is in merchandising and e-commerce, um, and I am a self-taught programmer. However, I did just finish a boot camp. And um, so, I'm also a ukulele dabbler. I'm not good, but this is one of my, uh, one of my uh, goals to learn on without, without pressure, right? And then, um, I'm also an expert at being a beginner, so. <laughs> So I want to give some shout outs. My Django encoding journey and the reason why I'm in front of you guys is because of DjangoCon 2016 when it came to Philly. Um, it was an awesome experience. Um, also Django Girls taught me a ton and um, was uh, really my first foray into learning, um, learning in a really productive way that felt like I was, I was building off the bat. And so, I mean, as, as you guys may know, there's a balance on how much effort you're going to put in and then the results you, you yield immediately and beginners get a little disheartened. Um, so trying to find that balance and, and traverse that, that fine line of how hard, um, how hard to work and when you're, when you're coaching someone through that, um, helping them and ushering them through with constant feedback and, and, and little wins, right? Um, also, I wanted to give a shout out to um, Kurt Wall from the Atomic Wagtail presentation in that 2016 Django Con. Very great presentation, and it's not the only presentation, but one of the first ones that I had that really uh, kind of articulated why Wagtail um, in a very um, lay term, um, lay terms. Um, Philly Pug, Django Girls, and my boot camp. Yeah. So who considers themselves particularly good at starting new projects or being a beginner? Hand, yeah. Uh, let's see, someone, you were first. Why do you think you're particularly a, a, a good at being a beginner? I get excited about learning about something that I'm curious about that I don't know enough to be discouraged yet. Exactly, <laughs> naivete, that's great. But you know, um, and, and I'm not sure if they can hear me, but um, your answer is great. You uh, being very excited about learning new things, right? Um, so I like to think that I'm really good at being a beginner because I've started a lot of new things before. Um, and um, here are some insights more on that. Um, so how do you code? It's a very vague question. Um, but I like to say that I'm methodical and relentless, almost methodical to a fault. Sometimes that gets in the way of me being productive. Um, so being able to be reflective on how you learn um, will also inform certain approaches and what you can ask from your community. Uh, so I'd like to take this back to one of my favorite, uh, favorite movies. I'm not sure if you're all familiar. If you haven't seen it, it's a great cartoon. Uh, Land Before Time from 1998, uh, or excuse me, 1988. Um, so each of these uh, characters are going to display a certain species in the learning community, and uh, we're going to talk about archetypes and then how they may apply to Wagtail. So first we have Littlefoot. Uh, this is the Apprentice Rex. So Littlefoot, uh, with their band of friends, um, really used and leveraged his friends to make sure he could traverse this journey. Um, so some strengths that Littlefoot had is he learns all the tips and tricks of the trade, and being able to have that community, you get that quickly, um, or you can, you can get that from someone who's continually practicing, right? Um, a few other things, but Littlefoot's at the mercy of luck. If he can't stumble upon a good, a good group of people to help him, uh, you know, you may not be able to leverage all of those, all of those skills. So Apprentice Rex with, uh, with Wagtail, look around you. So anyone who's new with Wagtail, can you raise your hand? Yeah? 
Anyone who feels like they can consider, consider themselves old heads or intermediates, can you guys raise your hands? Match up. Pair up, try to find some time. I mean, I think there's an active process of uh, being able to articulate things that you know, which helps solidify that and maybe can give you new ideas. And then also the giving back to your community, right? Um, I have not had this experience in Wagtail in particular, um, but I learned really well from the Apprentice, uh, the apprentice Rex. Uh, bang your head against a Wallasaurus. <laughs> now this one, I'm trying to get out of being this one, but this is really how I, I'm, how I work. Um, I see a problem, I'm like, I can do it, and I'm just gonna like, just kinda hack away. It's not pretty code, but by the 15th, 16th, 20th time of refactoring, it's gorgeous, okay? But, <laughs> Who knows that code and how to do that function better than me? Uh, no one, I got it, because I did it 10 times. Um, but I'm a, I'm a little bit of a bull in a china shop. You know, I might break a couple things while I'm trying to fix something else, right? So here's how we are uh, with Wagtail. So we only look at the docs, but Wagtail's new. We're, we've all, in a previous presentation, said that we're gonna continue to add some things to um, Wagtail docs. So, Sometimes there's a few expletives. And um, I heard I, someone can do this, so I know I can. So that confidence, we feeling that into, our, um, into ourselves, that's, that's gonna be how we have to move forward, right? Um, next, we have Ducky. Uh, the talk about it off, talk about it of us. Right? Um, talks, chatty, people who like to engage in these philosophical discussions so you can get into the deeper levels of what you're doing and why. Um, this one's kind of fundamental, especially with um, the way that Wagtail um, ha uh, kind of circumvents the need for, um, for views and other really cool tools, the stream fields and things like that. Um, being able to theoretically understand what it's doing and what it's navigating um, may help certain people. This this one's not so much me. Um, sometimes when we're talking about it, we gotta be about it, right? But this is also, this is, it's just different skill sets and different strokes for different folks, right? Um, so if you're staying Friday and Saturday, sprints. This is a good way, way to talk to people. Co-work spaces, buddy system and projects. This is very um, similar to the Apprentisaurus, I think is what it was called, uh, Apprentice Rex. Right? Um, they buddying up, having a partner, some of these skill sets and, and tools and proficiencies overlap. And so as I'm going through this, self-identify. Who are you? How do you learn? What type of dinosaur are you? The scaredalotodon. So this is a misnomer. They're not actually scared. They're just meticulous. Uh, as a scared a lot of dawn, uh, I am nervous I'm going to break my code sometimes. Well, I'll, I'll teeter back and forth between the bull in a china shop and scared a lot of dawn. And um, <laughs> I'll I have to research everything, and I want to look at all of the pages, all the times, and my PC freezes because I have so many tabs open. So, um, yes, uh, the scared a lot of dawn is, uh, is, a, is a fierce... Uh, Fierce member of the community, yeah. But we live in the docs, tutorials are great, uh, Stack Overflow, we visit, but we visit everything. We just really just scowl the net, ask anyone, ask everything. The watch and listen asaurus. So tutorials, these are very quiet and uh, unassuming predators. Uh, they will be in talks and actually in real time, learn what's going on in talks. That's, I gotta rewatch it at home. Thank goodness we record these things. I can't do it in real time. But taking notes and I'm going back, that's my thing, but learning real time, understanding these, um, these videos and, 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 um, and learning in that way. But one of the things we would love is your insights. If you're sitting quiet and back and just watching, um, how are you gonna be able to give your value and your thoughts to the community, right? And so the way that they interact with uh, Wagtail, conferences. You're here, good. You're, you're feeding, you're learning, you're learning dinosaur and tutor, tutorial videos, things like that. We have Chomper, uh, the Teropython Partiodactyl, right? <laughs> so these are the people who are the social, um, I guess in the 
personality scales, they are the yellows, they bring people in. And this is frankly not me, but why I'm in Django in the first place. Um, we have lots of like warm, just loving, it might just really feels like love in the community. Um, and they can bring people in and kind of and, and welcome them into um, a, a great framework, a community with a great framework attached, and 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 Wagtail in as well. So the ways that uh, they interact um, is the local user groups. I uh, started with Philly Pug, um, meetups, co-works, and case studies. Case studies work as well. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, yeah. So there, we are, here we have the ever so um, elusive uh, race to the finish raptor. So maybe many times these, um, these race to the finish raptors know other languages. Um, they feel like the, uh, they can have a, uh, a quicker learning curve on adopting new frameworks. Um, and so here they're able to apply other theories and concepts and be able to invest back into the Wagtail community. But our, a lot of people or some of us newbies are like, whoa, how'd you do that? Can you slow down? So putting things in lay terms could be um, an opportunity area for the race to finish a raptor. So similar to the watch a list in the source, talks are gold. Uh, demo slides, excuse me, demo sites with and without open source, you can see just where, where the bounds of this framework go. Um, and Wagtail definitely has that and it's great to see a lot of the presentations we had today because it really, I, I see the wheels and the cogs turning in people's minds and it's been doing the same in my own as well. So I'm just going to take a lot of these things home and try them out, right? So why I stuck with Wagtail? Um, all of these things above, I mean, each of the points and methods on, on getting acclimated and learning, um, Wagtail has. And some of them are in the beginning stages and some are um, advanced and, um, and, and, and well documented. But these are opportunity areas where we can continue to expand the community um, and, and be a more inviting area. So as a species hybrid between bend your head against a wallasaurus and Scatolatodon, I stay, I stay because I can tell the docs are written with love. Um, it sounds silly, but the conversational nature and friendly resources I've been lucky to, enough to encounter uh, really are invaluable to me. And although I'm not a tarot python party dactyl, I thrive around people who thrive around people and feel encouraged to join and stay active myself. So some things I'd like, personally, I'd like to do with Wagtail, my background, um, so a little bit more about um, my first project. Um, I built, I started building a CMS before I knew I was building a CMS. And then I tried to go to Mezzanine, and I was just so new in Django altogether and Python. I tried to go to Mezzanine, I tried to go to Django CMS, um, and really landed on Wagtail because I uh, was lucky enough to uh, find a tutorial with uh, Tom, and I met Tom, and he, if you're going, plug, 9 a.m. tomorrow, there is a beginner's tutorial. And if it's anything like the one I already did, it was incredibly invaluable. We got a site all the way to deploy um, with Heroku. And I'm excited to try Divio next. So this was, it was very exciting. And um, <clears throat> to continue with that in my e-commerce background, um, I'd like to learn um, how I could do that with Oscar, Stripe, Wagtail. I'd also like to try the headless uh, Wagtail with Vue. Um, and then customized dashboards, um, and uh, automated reports, um, gener excuse me, generation, things like that. Uh, so if you have any projects, I'm a partner of Soros, one of those. So reach out, right? Uh, so um, my journey with my uh, my project. So I am in a relatively dysfunctional department. Um, hopefully they're not looking. Um, and for a personal exercise, I really challenged myself to try to connect a lot of our uh, departments. So we would have merchandising assets and marketing assets along with um, uh, stock number, or excuse me, on um, inventory reports, things that need to be automatically generated. We want alerts to when things reach to a certain threshold. 
Um, we want to be able to have FAQs. We also want to be able to have personal profiles so we can interact on a friendly basis with our, uh, with our coworkers as well. Um, Skype wasn't cutting it, right? Um, so that was one of the things that I took on. I'm still in the very fledgling stages, but hopefully next time I see you guys, I can tell you a little bit more advanced story on how that was a success. I think I zoomed through that. It was a long day, so I, if you guys have any questions about learner sources, it was a pleasure speaking with you guys. They can be, yeah. Wherever you want, yeah. <laughs> personas that you described, or, or, or do you see more of one kind than another, typically? In, I'm, it's a surprising amount of um, tarot, party, python, talk a lot of sorts, something. It's the, the party one. <laughs> the ones that really engage with the community are surprising in surprising numbers with python, and I think that was that's what I'm drawn to um, as uh, uh, compatible uh, matches, but I do see Yes, in, in, in Python in particular. Uh, which ones do you think are typically worst served by the documentation and other resources that are available for learners? Uh, I'd like to, the, two, the, the watch and listen source, I think videos are underrepresented good, really nice tutorial videos. I know it take, takes a lot of time um, and a lot of video editing. Sometimes you don't have the resources available. Um, but I know as somebody who tries to dabble in all of them and just learn best about my learning styles, um, it's hard to find those. Um, but I've seen, a, I've seen a few really good ones with Wagtail. And I leverage conference talks a lot as well. Um, when they do get in the weeds and they just kind of <coughs> zoom through, I can slow it down, pause it, try it out, things like that. Yeah. Um, have you experimented with any Wagtail e-commerce Not yet. I'm excited. Anyone else doing it? Let me know. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try. Yeah? Um, okay. Great. We'll, we'll connect. Yeah. <laughs> there are also some people in the uh, Wagtail Slack who are talking about experimenting uh, Django, Oscar, Wagtail, upgraded for Wagtail 2 and Django 2. I may have passed it over the past couple of weeks, but um, there, there is some movement around that, so it's important to slide. There's an e-commerce package, I think you mentioned at some point, or is that it? Okay. There's, there's Django, Oscar, which is a separate package for e-commerce. It's really well established, and quite a few people doing combinations with, with Wagtail. Uh, if you've used both of them, what do you think some of Over WordPress, I'm not familiar with WordPress. I mean, I, I, I beginning stages, like I mean, like a decade ago, I was touching them, but not much. 